It's difficult to start anything new without a vision to finish. Uh, if uh, really, whether it be personal, professional, if we want to feel better, if we want to achieve something different, we need to do something different. It's insane to do the same thing over and over and over and expect to different results. We can get results. through life with a few loose spokes, and we always do. Life, life just wobbles along. That's of course unless it's our health spoke that's in trouble. When our health suffers, most other things do too. We live our lives out in many ways with many interests. But ultimately, we live it out physically. Medicine has done some great things to help us, but it hasn't yet come up with a, a pill to, to help us with our biggest problem. Inactivity, overnutrition and distress. For that, we actually have to join in and be part of the team. My first tip to men when it comes to thinking about your health is start. <laughs> Like it's nearly impossible to get a man to go for a checkup once a year or once every two years just to be, have a health screen. It's nearly impossible. I met a bloke on a, on, a, on a talk last year. He was an old guy and he, he said, oh yeah, that's like me, Al. And he said, I fell off the ladder once and I went to work and geez, I had a sore leg, but I held it out for about four days and I finally went to the doctor and had a broken leg. <laughs> it's one of the reasons a lot of good Australian men die young is because we just won't go and get things checked out. I'm trying to introduce something that men can live with. The slab. <laughs> the smart, lovable Aussie bloke. Plenty of lovable Aussie blokes around, but we can't claim the smart tag until we start to look after ourselves. One of the challenges there is this problem. <laughs> every man in Australia, every man in Australia, when he walks past his image, sees an absolute legend. <laughs> But women, don't think you're getting out of this. Alright, you, you reckon you can learn anything from men? It's funny though, it's the complacency. Now, like just, just for example, one of the greatest things about being a bloke is no pressure. Like, what's your name, eh? Rob. Rob. Just imagine if Rob and I had been mates for years. We hadn't seen each other for a while. Can you imagine two blokes walking up, walking up, and they go, oh, I go, how you going, Rob? Geez, you're looking good. You look like you've lost weight. Turn around and give me a look at you. <laughs> that is, honestly, honestly, that is one of the best things about being a bloke because we don't even think like that. <laughs> we just want to know if we want to have a chat to each other. Good enough. That's it. Go for lots of colours. Go fresh. Enjoy a few drinks. And take a regular dose, a daily dose of Goya. Thank you. <laughs>